1924, Rice County was the 13th largest county in Minnesota. A new 4-H program was born, along with a club that still remains active today, which is Follow Pet. Over the 100-year history, there have been 55 clubs that have rotated through existence. The Liberty Bell, Up and Doing, Pioneer, Golden Opportunity, Happy Workers, Big Giants, Big Woods, and Big Star would make their debut in the 1920s. The 1930s gained four new clubs, Riverview, Happy Hustlers, Meadow Larks, and Valley Grove, and saw a departure of one of the original members. The Rice County Fair had a home in Northfield for the first several decades of its existence, eventually moving to Faribault in 1939. The momentum continued in the 40s with the addition of Warsaw Willing Workers, Eckland Echoes, Shieldsville Four Star Tribune Go-Getters, Cannon City Cardinals, Wellcott Cheerful Workers, Wheatland Wheaties, and Willing Wells, originally Liberty Bell. In the 1950s, the Rice County population grew to over 36,000, and with that, Rice County 4-H grew to support over 600 members and added six clubs, including Lonsdale Beavers, Twin Lakers, Richlanders, Spirit of Moland, Willing and Ready, and Rice Krispies. On August 8, 1958, the Rowley Memorial Building was dedicated. In this decade, meat hogs were introduced at the fair. The 1956 auction brought in $8,397.05. In 1957, fair attendance was reported at 47,000, over four days. In the 1960s, older 4-H members who received the gold key for outstanding service participated in the key club. Federation meetings included lunch served by the delegated clubs and often included guest speakers. If a 4-H member wanted to attend the four-day summer camp in the 60s, it would cost $6 plus $1.50 for transportation. The maximum age for 4-H members was changed to 19 in 1965. And that same year, profits from the refreshment stand at the fair totaled to be $539.79. The 4-H picnic in the summer sported fun contests like the father with the most children, nail driving, and shoe kicking. The cattle barn was built, which replaced the previous use of tents for livestock. Five new clubs were added, Faribault 4-H Club, Faribault Fair Ladies, Little Chicago Goers, Northfield Urbanites, and Webster Willie Workers, and three clubs dissolved during this decade. In 1970s, the county introduced the GOAT project. Leaders were recognized through their own banquet, and exchange members found fun in Colorado. Share the Fun was a hit, with over 20 clubs participating each year. In 1979, the fashion show was hosted at the St. Olaf Center. Club participation remained steady in this decade, with no new clubs joining and no existing clubs leaving the organization. In the 1980s, Rice County 4-H saw continued growth with membership over 775, which put it at the 15th largest 4-H enrollment in the state. Club momentum picked up again with the addition of Busy Beavers, Helping Hands, and Fun For You. In 1980, there were over 2,500 4-H projects submitted and the auction brought in a whopping $28,242.63. It was also the first year of the Junior Leader Recognition Dinner and Dance. The addition of Curtis Hall was dedicated in 1983. Over the years, many local fraternal organizations hosted recognition events for leaders and members, including Knights of Columbus, Moose Lodge, and the Eagles Club. Fundraising began to support a new 4-H building. The organization accepted donations from the public for an auction. The mid-80s supported over 45 project areas, including livestock, home economics, mechanical science, horticulture, plants and soil science, natural sciences, and special projects. Paradise in Portland was introduced, an experience unique to Rice County. Extra excitement arrived at the fair in the form of a horse pole, 
share the fun's popularity garnered over 350 spectators at the Faribault Junior High School. The early 90s saw a full refresh of the food stand and poultry barn. The exchange program had heightened interest with many members travel to destinations from Kansas, Pennsylvania, and Texas to name a few. While no new clubs spun up during this era, three clubs did close. Again, in Y2K, the organization experienced the loss of three clubs, but the horse barn saw a rebirth. Throughout the years, many 4-H camps have been introduced. Significant growth in the project offerings happened with additions of computer and consumer sciences and llamas. Expansions of horticulture, shooting sports, and performing arts enhanced the 4-H program. The 2010s brought on a new club, Happy Hounds, with a focus on the 4-H dog project. The organization would lose an early joiner when the Willing Wells departed. Over the 100-year history, Rice County 4-H has impacted countless lives and families, turning people's hearts green one more year at a time. 2020 and beyond. In 2020, COVID hit hard and the 2020 Rice County Fair was canceled, but that did not stop us from having a virtual Rice County Fair. Today, Rice County reports a population of over 67,000. Rice County Forage supports eight clubs, over 300 members, and over 175 volunteers in their continued quest to make the best better.